presented by Page Wizard Games Learning and Entertainment. It's that time, everybody! Time for more entertainment and fun with your favorite computer scientist, Dr. Daniel Page! Welcome to Dan Plays, where Dan has fun with friends and we talk about all sorts of fun things, including computer science and everything under the sun. No barriers, just fun. This show is funded by supporters on Patreon and Subscribestar. Check out all the fun rewards and supporter access at the links. That's enough for now. Let's get started. Come on, Dan. Let's get started. Hello, everybody. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. My name is Dan. I want to welcome you here to the Twitch Fun Time. <laughs> so we're going to be playing some more Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages today. So... Hopefully you're excited for that. I know I am. It's been a busy, busy week. So, I need to have a little bit of fun with you guys. So, let's get in on this, okay? It's a pleasure to have everybody hanging on out. So, let's get started. So, l last day, if my memory serves me correctly, I just finished the first dungeon of the game. And we're gonna have to go on a little adventure to go figure out where the next one is. Dan, it's been too long. I've moved to the city too. It's nice to see... Hey, look! Is that Miss Kitty? I, I need to see. You're Dan? I'm Kitty! No way! It is Miss Kitty from Oracle of Seasons! When we did Oracle Seasons, remember naming our son Kitty? He's quite well. <laughs> I'm Mama Yan, the top breeder in town. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter! But my dog is very shy. Do you know of a good way to hide its face? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to approach that one. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so hungry, my stomach hurts! I'm hungry! Pardon me. I just thought you could help. I'm hungry! This whole village is just full of people that I just don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I'm fine with food blanket for the doggo. Hey, look. I don't know what's going on with the owner, but that dog looked pretty cute. Go up. Oh, look, it's a bunch of fairies. This is our playground. Won't you play hide and seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on. We'll hide, so try to find us. Hee <laughs> hee. I had the hee hee myself. Ready or not, come find us! Dang, but there's still two more! There we go. There we go, we got two! We got two. You found me, but the last one is hardest! Darn, I didn't do the voice. Okay, here we go. It worked. Well, you found us all. You're good, mister. <laughs> oh, you found us all. Okay. We'll tease you anymore. We'll put the floors back in order. Thanks, straight. <laughs> that was fun. Let's play again sometime. Okay, that looks interesting. It looks like a place I should check out. Let's see, it says, Ancient Cave. Beware, crumbles easily. Keep that in mind. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Dan, are you alright? No, you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that held up the cave. Too bad, Nate, you can't give us some advice. 
Maybe there's something in Neighbor's house that can help. Why don't you go look? Yeah, there we go. Could there be a hidden room somewhere? I have felt drafts from above. Well, <laughs> Impa, how do you not know that this is a thing? <laughs> well, this looks like something very useful to know. You got the Harp of Ages. I am Nehru. I, Sh Shireen isn't here, so I have to do the voice. <laughs> I am Nehru, Oracle of Ages. You are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. I do not know you, but it is not um, by mere chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of the... Time. Your arrival means I am not in this age any longer. I hid the harp here, knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you by playing certain tunes on the harp of ages. You can travel through time. Let me teach you the tune of echoes. If you play that tune, you will unlock the powers of time portals found across this land. Step into a time portal to travel through time to another age. As you journey, you may learn more tunes that will let you travel through time more freely when you play them. Please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I am counting on you, unknown hero. Lovely, lovely. It's the Echo Tomb. It will awaken sleeping time portals. Very nice. Boy, I wonder what those strange little platform thingies are. Impa, how does it feel? Hurry, you must save Nairo. The world is falling apart. Dang, dang. Everybody just seems to be interrupting me. You got Impa, you got the Meku tree, you got... <laughs> Darn, that's the Harp of Ages. Maybe you can use it to open time portals and sail through time. The cave has crumbled in this age, but perhaps in the past you can find a way in. Look at this. Looky, looky. I wonder if I can use this on that spot there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now we've traveled to the past! My husband gave Queen Ambie that which pleases her. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but he still... He has still taken the work on the Black Tower. I want him back. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Somewhere in the woods is a tree that bears very special seeds. What's going on with this forest? I, I don't know. I feel like I'm everybody's talking in double meanings with me. I don't know. I'm going to find something that Queen Ambi desires so I don't have to work at Ambi's Tower. Deep in the woods are magical seeds and an owl statue. When the seeds are placed on the statue, it moves. The first time I saw it, it startled me, but now I find it amusing. But I'm not supposed to go into the woods, so don't tell them, the adults. What did the queen want? Puzzle seeds? Enigma seeds? It's a mystery to me. I wonder if it's mystery seeds, because we had those in Oracle with Seasons. You got mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, let's try it on the owl statue. Do not forget to feed me mystery seeds. Wait, 
a nice reward. <laughs> ah, here it is! Speak of the thing, it's right here! Talk about timing! Level 2, Wing Dungeon. Oh, look, we found the second dungeon. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, no, you're. I think you're right, Tracy. <laughs> you were the reason it's so weak. <laughs> red here, then that's blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Yeah, see, that, see that's not going to be good. We need to... I think you're right. Yeah, so now we got blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. There we go. I think this will work. Very nice. Very nice. We did it, guys! <laughs> Though I know Dre will take credit for this. <laughs> One thing I do like about the dungeons in this game is they very much feel like the 3D Zelda games, the way they do things, but imagine, like, reimagine, like, a 2D game. That's the one thing that really kind of makes Oracle of Seasons feel quite a bit different than Oracle of Ages. Oracle of Seasons is very much baked in the older Zelda games, like the way they do the gimmicks and whatnot. Th though there are some pretty neat novel ones, but this one is very much feels feels very much like, yeah, no, we're trying to make it like feel sort of like the newer kind of puzzles they have in the newer Zelda games. And when I say newer, I'm talking mostly like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, um that kind of time period we're talking about because obviously this is still a game that's from the early 2000s uh oh looks like a gremlin <laughs> one with no wings is no match for me Why does it look like if we, if we made Lola more demonic, but, like, can fly with her ears? This is what this reminds me of, <laughs> for some reason. We're already at the mini-boss, sweet. Oh, there was a double bounce there. Dang, got it. We got the checkpoint. Oh, look at that. That's what I thought the item would be. Rock's feather. You feel light as a feather. You get it? Because it's a feather? I'm going to have to... this. So I Here's my speculation, and we'll see if I'm right. Okay, that platform in the middle... So it will change which kind of statues I can move around. Move the blue ones. See, there we go. Let's see. Okay, let's move the blue ones. See, aren't I doing pretty good at this? I haven't played this game in a number of years. Okay. Now, let's get these red ones. And away we go. Awesome. There, I made up for the key. So I see those two key spots. Miss Kitty, are you going to come say hi again? Oh, that's cool. I like that. This is the great power of the Game Boy Color. You all in full it's, its full mercy and display here. This is actually pretty that's actually really cool. I, I forgot about this. There we go. This is the power of the Game Boy Color. Miss Kitty's staring at me in a very serious way right now. I don't know what to do about her. Oh look, Miss Kitty. Welcome, Miss Kitty. You want to come here? Come here. You gonna dance, Miss Kitty? You gonna dance? 
Yeah, wiggle. Wiggle for me. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> this cat is just... It's just having quite the mood this today. Why are you doing this, Miss Kitty? Uh, you're gonna sit over there, okay? Rock's feather in. Let's do this! Oh, that was, <laughs> that was a fluke! Let's see if we got it. <laughs> that was an absolute fluke! Whoops. That was an absolute fluke the first time, I swear. <laughs> Did you make your own demise there? You weird swamp thing. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> that was amazing. That's why you don't light me on fire, okay? That was what we call an oops. I don't know what the heck that was supposed to do, seeing as uh, I could just stay on the outside this entire time and just let it go. Give me the sweet bombs. Give me them sweet bombs. Oop, I just missed. Just missed it. closer. <laughs> oh, I just missed! <laughs> I think we're doing pretty decent compared to last time. Now do the do the thing. Do the thing. There we go. Can do that. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, that seems a little bit more lethal this time than it was last time. So we got the blue again. Yeah, I'm gonna take some of those bombs. I'm taking the bombs, okay? Hope that's okay with everybody. Okay, so I, I'll just stick up here and I'll just toss it from here. But I totally missed that time. <laughs> see, see, like this time, it, I'm guessing it's because it focuses on one side or the other side, I guess. Okay, 
Definitely gonna have to plan this a little bit more carefully this time. that time. Beautiful. Aren't bosses based on chance just wonderful? Oh no, not again! <laughs> okay, just wait for the purple. Once you see the purple, I throw, but I need to throw just before that. That was... I'm gonna go find me some bombs. I need some more bombs! Aha! There we go. I think I did it. I think I got it this time. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> watch. Just watch. Yes! Oh, it's gonna start going faster! Oh no, I got the green one. Oh no. At least the green one isn't that bad. It's the blue one that I I really don't like. Ha, huh, I think I think I got it. I think I got it that time. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's let's watch. Ha! We did it! Beautiful! You got a heart container. Oh, here we go. You got the ancient wood! An essence of time! It whispers only truth to closed ears from out of the... Stillness. <laughs> what? God, wonderful. That would. I feel so fresh. Dan, I sense an essence of time on the South Sea's Crescent Island. Find a way there from the town's coast. Da, da, eh. Hey, look, I can jump across here now. So let's let's go check that out. I'm just curious. Hmm. They're swimming. Swimming in a rope that won't decay in water. He seems like a very useful fellow, this, uh, this Cheval guy. So maybe I need to go to the present and go check out this Cheval guy's place. Are you looking for something? Or what, huh? Cheval's Rope? I know that name, yeah. I've seen a grave in our own time that has that name on it. But I don't have time to chat. I'm busy. See ya! I guess we'll have to go look for this. <laughs> what is this dude? Is he from Winnipeg? Seems like it. <laughs> Seems like it. Man, I love the Winnipeg, man. Just characters, man. Just characters. Oh. Haha, <laughs> this guy's shocked. Let's shock. I'm smart. It's Moose. A ghost! 
Goofy, why is that weirdo here? What are you looking at? I shock you too. We're gonna help Moose. Let's help Moose out. Don't eat me, I taste awful. The ghosts are all gone. Damn! I can help you if you like. Then climb on my back. Tap ready to hover. Or hold it to charge up for a ground pound. But water is my weakness. The shallow stuff is one thing. But I can't take deep water, so be careful. Hmm. Go in the water, boys. Let's get in there. Yeah, go in there. You got Zora's flippers. You can now go for a swim. Oh, looky, looky. You got cheval rope. Or cheval rope, whatever you want to say. Hey, that's it. With that cheval rope, I could finish my raft. Let me have that rope, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Tell you what, you can be the first to ride my raft when it's done. But you'll need a chart if you want to go out to sea. Going without a chart is invitation to disaster. I'll have the raft ready by the time you get a chart. Ho, oh, I'm Ricky. Usually I can clear holes and cliffs with my patented jump. But I'm not in such a good mood right now, you see. I lost my precious gloves. Again? I think I left them by the tree on the beach, but I can't seem to find them. I think. But what beach then, if that's not the beach? South Shore... Maybe it's over there? Maybe? Oh, the place I was checking out before and I didn't see anything interesting. Oh! <laughs> Talk about what, cause what's with me and having these weird moments where I just do something and then all of a sudden it helps. Yeah, take me to Tingle. Let's go to Tingle. What am I thinking? Remember, I have a feather I could use to jump. Like, remember, I could jump. Wait, let's try doing that. Don't ask me why the kangaroo couldn't do it. <laughs> why couldn't the why couldn't Ricky do it? I can do it. I have a feather. See? <laughs> Good old tingle. <laughs> Ricky isn't a jumpy boy. Living the life, Tingle. Living the life. Yes, you could be my friend. Sweet, I got the chart. <laughs> cool, eh? Dang, Ricky. Ricky's savage. Uh-oh. 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 There was a monkey! There's monkeys in there! Oh no. I got stranded. I've been raf... wrecked. Hey! Where are you going with my stuff? <laughs> they saved me! They... Hey, hey, hey! They're just pulling a Gerald, okay? They... <laughs> they're, they're pulling a Gerald, okay? You can tell Gerald this later, okay? <laughs> okay.
I don't know nothing. I mean, I'm innocent. Did these pies, like, start hanging out with Gerald or something? I, I don't know. Hey, look! It's Rosa from Oracle of Seasons. Power of Link Games made this possible. Like, you forgot we dated? Then he, like, got all excited and went off leaping off somewhere? What a weirdo. Was that, like, your shovel? If you don't hang on to it, it could, like, wash out to sea. Hey, look, at least I got the shovel. <laughs> Actually, the theme of my trip is the independent woman. So, you have to wait for another date. <laughs> so, when we come back, we're going to be getting revenge. <laughs> so, that being said, it was a pleasure to have everybody hanging on out here. And if you really like what you've seen, make sure you follow here on Twitch. Do check out the links here on my page. Uh, do check out the educational content and more over on my YouTube channel. I do post on there my Twitch clips, so these are the fun clip shows I have from these streams. And on top of that, if you really, really like what you see here, I recommend checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash pagewizard. So, I want to say thank you so much for coming and hanging on out. It was a blast. And have yourself a beautiful night. I'll see you later.